that there's a difference between uh, being born of the Spirit and being baptized in the Spirit. There's a big, big difference between born of the Spirit. Lift your hands and say, born of the Spirit. You need to say it louder. Born of the Spirit and being baptized in the Spirit. So I announced last time that when you're born of the Spirit, that is the, be- the, the first birth of the, the, the first breath of the Spirit in us. So that's the Spirit within us. And when I talk to you about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that's the second breath. That is the, when the Holy Spirit empowers you to do what God calls you to be. Can I hear an amen, people? So I, I mentioned some words, and I don't have the time. I mentioned the word endued. So you shall receive power. I mentioned the word endued, which means to cloth oneself with. I mentioned the word power, and the word power in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. The Bible talks about if you put Acts one twenty eight, you shall receive power. The word power is the miracle working power of God. The word dunamis, which means the the miracle working power of God. And I mentioned also that what baptism means. Baptism is to be submerged, to be immersed in power and dynamite. Can I hear an amen, people? So I, I, I told you what is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The definition I gave you is a supernatural atmosphere. Pour into a vessel that has found his identity in Christ to manifest supernatural activity. Every time you baptize with the Spirit is to manifest supernatural activity. I also mentioned the fact that many people emphasize tongues. They said, well, you chud, if you speak in tongues, you got power. No, I said to you, Jesus never emphasized tongues. I speak in tongues. I pray in tongues more than you. But like Paul said, I do pray in tongues, but the tongues are only the initial evidence that you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I see people that speak in tongues that they don't have power. So the emphasis is not the tongues. The tongues is the initial evidence. But actually what Jesus was emphasizing was power. Lift your hands and say power. power. Come on, say it. So the, 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 what Jesus emphasized was power. So that's what his emphasis. It was not tongues. Tongues was the beginning, was the introduction. So I spoke to you about, you know, the, the definition. And I saw the evidences that you've been filled and been baptized with the Holy Spirit. And I say you become saturated in the power of God. Number two, you remain in a place of being supernaturalized. Meaning that you act the power of God at will. You can pray for people anytime, everywhere. Number three, I say the main evidence that you receive the baptism of the Spirit is that you can demonstrate power. You got the power. And number four, God becomes a total reality in your life.